Right guys, welcome to the Arnold Classic. This is day one. We have the Wheel of Pain and the Austrian Oak for as many reps as possible. Be sure to check out the rest of the video for some behind the scenes footage. And as always, please stay spicy. spicy. It's definitely time for a lot of pancakes. <laughs> they got them up there too, so you're good. They got muffins too, so hit the pancakes and the muffins, both of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Thumb. We we'll meet again. I'm gonna go get some. I don't know if you like that. Mm -hmm. um, Pork sausage, turkey sausage. The turkey sausage will probably sit on you a little bit better because it's drier. Mm -hmm. The kind of fattier pork sausage mm -hmm. might not sit quite as well. Okay. Um, Thank you. I'm good. Easy. been off competing for about eight months so it's hard to get back into it the prep for me didn't start very well um, I'm trying to get back into comp uh, physically and mentally mentally for me was the most draining part but I was getting there as the weeks got on so then you know wheel of pain I want it in rogue but this year for me um, training was good you know I was training on the pickup I was trying to do some conings as well uh, sorry pushing the yoke so I was trying to just get make it as hard as I could for myself just getting like warm getting that that kind of heart heart rate up a little bit just did some sled pushes back and forth nothing too it's nothing too major but again felt good felt a lot better I did the wheel of pain a couple of years ago at the rogue invitational and felt a lot better doing doing it today which is good Well, Stoltman five inches shorter than his brother, but getting a good start here. You see, it's just so hard to maintain a pace here on the Wheel of Pain, Mark. 
Yeah, this is a tough guy, though. I talked to him yesterday. You can feel the power in his voice. The way that he talks, the way that he thinks, him setting strategy, it made me feel like he knew what he was up against. So we're, we're going to see right now if he's up to it. Here we go. Here we go. 20 seconds. 20 seconds to start getting past. We're at that standard. 15 seconds. This is where the points are earned. What does he have left? Luke Stolman still pushing. And looks like he just got past Tom Evans there. That is a great effort. Yeah, I mean, I was more nervous than usual. Obviously, this is my first competition back for eight, nine months. So, you know, I chucked myself into the deep end and did the Arnolds. And I just kind of, you know, with the warm up, I kind of, yeah, I was really nervous. You know, I was in the morning kind of trying to keep my nerves cool just trying to not think about the competition but then when i got to the arena seeing the people seeing their, uh seeing it filling up quickly trying to visualize what i was doing i was like i was trying to get back into the tom stoke and strongman so yeah it was really cool and then obviously the warm-up in the back i mean with wheel of pain there's not much you can warm up with it's a few sled drags um back and forth getting your legs moving and then maybe like some bounces to get the calves going I maybe go up against the wall and try and get your arms straight to lock in. So those are the wee things I was doing. Um, and then it was just trying to see how I would perform on the event itself. Let's go, Tom! Let's go, Tom! All right, guys, where are you at? And Tom Stolman getting those hips low. Let's go, Driving. And you can see. Let's go, Tom! Getting the moving. Trying to focus those hips. Stolman, slow and steady, starting to pick it up. Being as tall as he is, in the 30 pack. seconds through. Flexible enough in his hips. What does he have for this back half of the push? Let's go! 20 seconds. He's approaching that standard where the other men are. He's moving along a pretty good clip. Stolman. Close. We'll wait to see what the judges mark. The, the log press today, event number two, um, it's two different logs. So we've got the 195, which is a heavy one, which uh, the, uh, the Austrian oak is called. So it's quite historic. Um, it's one of the most famous log lifts, I suppose, that we've got. Um, so that's the first one. So any reps on that trumps the reps on the lighter one, which is 175 kilos. So basically, try the first one. If you fail the first one, you get to go on and do the, the lighter one and do as many reps as you can on that. Log is, is I mean, it's hard one as well because when we train, we, a lot of us train log fresh, so to train it after the Wheel of Pain, although it was two hours after the Wheel of Pain, my legs were kind of like jelly, and uh, it was very hard. It's a heavy weight, 195 kilogram log. When you're in a second event after doing a brutal wheel of pain, in the warm ups, I was pretty. I wasn't getting switched on and aggressive like I usually do. Um, that's one thing that I'm feeling lacked, has lacked in training and lacking in the last first two events of Arnold's is my aggression. Um, I failed the 180 backstage, and then I hit it this on the second attempt. So. I was glad I got it in the second attempt because it gave me a bit more confidence, but then it, I had a wee bit of nerves then going up to the, you know, because failing 180 in the backstage, you're kind of like, oh crap, am I going to get the big log? But I was just trying to stay calm, know that I can hit it. You know, I've done two in training fresh, so I was just like, if I can get one, I know that'll at least get me some decent points. Amanda! You can see just the challenge controlling this. Yeah, I don't know. 
it, it was strange. I, I decided I never wear grip shirts normally. And I'm not saying this is a reason why it happened, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I put a grip shirt on just before I went out. I thought, right, I'll try it because it's reps. So I was like, oh, I may as well try it. And, yeah, walking out, it felt really good. Um, felt quite focused, really switched on as I normally am. I got a couple of little things to do. Slap my legs, kind of a few deep breaths and kind of get into it. And, um, yeah, the first, the first rep as I cleaned it, we see it, it kind of threw me back a little bit and it was really high up. Um, a little bit off my normal position when I rack the log up in my chest. And it, it just went, like, I just went dizzy. It just went, like, I started seeing stars. The lights were, like, flickering. I couldn't really focus on anything. Um, yeah, it, it felt like, I was close to kind of, lo not losing consciousness, I wouldn't say that, but just, just got really dizzy. Ten seconds! Middle of the field, five seconds! Luke Scotland's great effort, but could not lose the middle of the field. When you're panicking, when you're like thinking, oh, I've got, because a lot of expectation on on me when it comes to log as well, um, because I, because I'm such a loudmouth as well, probably, um, and yeah, I, my my legs felt fine. It was weird like after the the wheel of pain. Ten minutes after, my legs started to come back, and it was all good. Um, but yeah, it was just that dizzy feeling, just that. I've had it once before, I think at Europe's Strongest Man a couple of years ago, with a 195 log as well, and it, it just started seeing stars, and once that happens, it's it's really difficult. I don't know if there's like a, a block for oxygen, or if your oxygen going through your body that makes you kind of lose consciousness or get that dizzy spells, um, but it's really hard to kind of get enough breathed breaths to get back into it, and... Um, yeah, unfortunately today it was just a, a little um, setback. 385 pounds. Here we go! Only needs two reps. Come on, two reps. Got it. Made that first one look easy. One more rep will add points to it. Come on, guys, let's hear it. I mean, uh, overall day one, um, and like I said, I'm happy. It's my first time back in eight or nine months competing, and I think I've played it good. You know, I, I think it's about consistency, and if I can keep consistent in the in you know in all the events, I'll do well. And you know, I came fifth in the Wheel of Pain, and I think I came fifth in the Logs. So that's two fifth place. So an overall, I'm in fifth place right now, and we still got three events to go. So yeah, I'm really happy. I'm still in it, you know, and it's just about battling and keeping my head and trying to be smart as well because although we're at the Arnolds, and you know, obviously, I want to win. I need to also think, realize that I've, you know, been off the sport for eight or nine months. So, 
to even come back and hit that 195 like I did, I was you know, very happy with, because when I've been in my peak um, and then comp after comp, I've never hit a 195 log, so that's something to take away with. Obviously, like I said, Wheel of Pain, my muscular endurance may have, could have been a bit better, but it is what it is. It's, I just want to do this, Arnold, sharpen the tools, then get ready for the next one. But second day, I'll battle and see what happens. So. Yeah, unfortunately today, it was just a, a little... Um, Set back. Um, I was so annoyed, so annoyed going backstage after, um, you know, really kicking myself because it shouldn't happen. But unfortunately, the the reality of it, the the kind of stuff we do, you know, things do happen. Things happen, and yeah, unfortunately, I'm just a little bit of a dafty today, and it happened to me. So such is life.